Hello viewers, today we will present you the details about the serial dilution technique which is widely used in the sample preparation of microbiological and chemical analysis. We fragmented the video into three parts. In the first part, we will dilute a sample by serial dilution technique. In the second part, we will perform test of the diluted samples and the third part is all about the calculation. For this technique, we need appropriate diluent, falcon tube, vortex mixture and micropipette with chips. In this technique, we will dilute our original sample into several times. We call the first one dilution 1, second, third, fourth and fifth are dilution 2, 3, 4 and dilution 5. You can dilute your sample to further numbers if you expect the analyte concentration in your sample is still high. This is our original sample. Before going for the serial dilution, vortex the sample properly to make a homogeneous mixture. This mixing is very crucial to get accurate test results by the serial dilution technique. This is the first dilution bottle containing 90 ml diluent. Selecting the diluent depends on the types of sample and analytes. Always try to use 90ml diluent instead of 9ml for the first dilution and dilute 10ml or 10 gram sample with it instead of 1ml or 1 gram sample. This way of dilution generates more accurate test results. Transfer 10 ml or 10 grams of original sample into the bottle containing 90 ml diluent. Let's find the dilution factor for this dilution 1 dividing total volume of the mixture by sample taken for this dilution. Final volume is 90 plus 10 which is 100 and we took 10 ml sample to dilute. Therefore, we found the dilution factor of this dilution 1 is 10 or we can write 10 in verse 1. Vortex this solution to make a homogeneous mixture of the dilution 1. This dilution 1 mixture will be used to make the dilution 2. This falcon tube contains 9 ml diluent. Transfer 1 ml from the dilution 1 bottle into the tube containing 9 ml diluent. This will make dilution 2. Dilution factor at this point is 100, so we can write 10 in verse 2. Vortex this dilution 2 tube.
transfer 1 ml from dilution 2 solution into another 9 ml diluent tube to make the dilution 3. The dilution factor at this point is 1000, so we can write 10 in verse 3. Vortex this dilution 3 tube. Transfer 1 ml from dilution 3 solution into another 9 ml diluent tube to make the dilution 4. The dilution factor at this point is 10,000, so we can write 10 in verse 4. Vortex this dilution 4 tube. Transfer 1 ml from dilution 4 solution into another 9 ml diluent tube to make the dilution 5. The dilution factor at this point is 1 lakh, so we can write 10 in verse 5. Vortex this dilution 5 tube. Dilution of our sample is done by serial dilution technique. Now we will analyze our diluted sample for microbiological test and chemical test. This analysis will help us in better understanding of the calculation part. Let's consider each dilution tube as individual sample. We are spreading each diluted samples on agar plate surface. Incubate the inoculated culture plates at optimum temperature condition.
After the incubation period, take out the plates for result observation. We found uncountable number of bacterial colonies in first and second dilution. Because colony density is so high in the first and second dilution samples. We found 721 colony forming units in the third dilution. Eighty seven colony forming units from fourth dilution. and 11 colony forming units in the 5th dilution. In the same way analyze each of the diluted sample for chemical test. Chemical analysis results will be shown in the calculation part. Let's learn the calculation of this serial dilution technique. At first, we will learn the calculation from examples. Calculation for dilution 1 Suppose we found 12 value as a result of first dilution. So 12 is our diluted result. Now we have to calculate the final result of the original sample using this diluted value by multiplying with the dilution factor of this dilution point. We know the dilution factor of this first dilution is 10 inverse 1. After multiplying with the factor, we got the final result which is 120. This is the final result of our tested sample. Now we will calculate the final result for dilution 2. If we get 12 as diluted result in second dilution, then we can calculate the final result of the original sample using this diluted value by multiplying with the dilution factor of this second dilution point. We know the dilution factor of this second dilution is 10 inverse 2. After multiplying with this factor, we got the final result which is 1200. This is also the final result of our tested sample which derived from second dilution. Let's calculate the final result for dilution 3. If we get 12 as diluted result in the third dilution, we can calculate the final result in the same way by multiplying with the dilution factor. Here the dilution factor is 10 inverse 3. We got the final result by solving the equation which is 12,000. This is also the final result of our tested sample derived from third dilution. Similarly, calculate the final result of our tested sample from dilution 4 and 5. Now we will find the final result of the microbiological test. We found uncountable number of colonies in the dilution 1 and 2. So we couldn't count the final result from these dilutions. In the dilution 3, we found 721 colony forming units. This is the diluted result of our tested sample. Now we will find the final result of our original sample. 
multiply the diluted result with the dilution factor of this dilution point. The dilution factor of this dilution point is 10 inverse 3. By solving the equation, we get the final result is 7,21,000 CFU per ml. We found 87 colony forming units in dilution 4. By multiplying with the dilution factor, we get the final result is 8,70,000 CFU per ml. In the same way for the dilution 5, we get the final result of our original sample is 11 lakh CFU per ml. Let's calculate the chemical analysis results in the same manner. From chemical analysis result, we get 9473 BPM in dilution 1 sample. By multiplying the diluted result with the dilution factor, we get the final result is 94730 ppm. We get 951 ppm in dilution 2 sample. By multiplying the diluted result with the dilution factor, we get the final result is 95100 ppm. In dilution 3 sample, we get 96 ppm as diluted result. By multiplying the diluted result with the dilution factor, we get the final result is 96000 ppm. In the same way, calculate the final result from dilution 4 and 5. So these are all the final results of our tested original sample derived from different dilution. That's all for today about the serial dilution technique and its calculation. Ta-da!